took the bore evacuator off the T54 and luckily the last guy had it pretty well greased up so that thing came off really easy uh, almost no heat you can see all of the moisture and stuff that was trapped inside the bore evacuator as part of our checks for the live fire these are those venturi holes that allow the gas to enter into the bore evacuator we'll make sure these are all cleared out the first shot would probably blast all that out in there but we don't want all that crap filling up the bore evacuator but a note on the moisture here you can see <clears throat> the bore evacuator tube itself there's a little bung right on the bottom side of it the reason for this is when you're not firing is you crack this and it allows all that moisture to empty out of the bore evacuator no one did that well no and you can see the result uh all the rust and moisture that was uh, <clears throat> piled up inside there and it's not too bad though it's really good uh, much easier than our t62 was uh so just like the t62 we have the venturi jets that once the round reaches right here the build up of pressure in here it allows the pressure to expand into the bore evacuator and then after the shot has left the barrel the built up pressure in here shoots back that way and causes that uh, suction but the soviet tanks also have like a like a ball bearing on a, a setup kind of here so i'm not sure my best guess is this is some kind of one-way valve that will lift up and allow air to enter the bore evacuator and then it will close again and seal it uh, and then that excess gas will build up and only shoot forwards and drive all the gases out of the barrel. Job done.